the Voyager 1 is transmitting back to Earth some truly terrifying data. Nearly half a century after its launch, NASA's farthest traveled spacecraft is still crossing hitherto uncharted parts of space. This famous space probe gadget seems to be malfunctioning, sending back the scariest data ever seen by scientists on Earth. What discoveries has Voyager made? And so how do the discoveries shock the space industry? What is known about the suspicious data set sent back by the Voyager? Today, we'll discuss the peculiar information that Voyager has been sending back to Earth during its exploratory mission thus far. Stay tuned as we look into the terrifying data sent by the Voyager. Let's first look into Voyager 1. As part of the Voyager program, which aims to learn more about the universe beyond the Sun's heliosphere, NASA launched Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977. For 45 years and 21 days as of September, Voyager 1, launched 16 days after its twin Voyager 2, has remained in operation receiving routine commands from and sending data to Earth via the Deep Space Network. When measuring distance and speed, NASA and JPL can turn in real time. As of September 20th, 2022, it is the furthest artificial object from Earth, located at a distance of 157.77 AU. This probe did a flyby of Jupiter, Saturn and Titan, Saturn's most giant moon. A Pluto and a Titan flyby were on the table for consideration, but the Moon was chosen for its abundant atmosphere and the greater potential for scientific discovery. Voyager 1 was the first probe to deliver high-resolution photos of the moons of the two gas giants and analyze their weather, magnetic fields and rings. The Voyager team tested the spacecraft's Trajectory Correction Maneuver TCM thrusters in late 2017, a project that allowed the mission to be extended by two to three years and further attested to Voyager 1's durability. As of now, the extended mission of Voyager 1 is scheduled to last until the year 2025, when the spacecraft's radioisotope thermoelectric generators would no longer be able to generate enough electricity to run its scientific equipment. Moving on, the launch of Voyager 1. Since the time of the Big Bang, scientists have had an insatiable curiosity about the universe beyond our own, which led to the launch of numerous space missions, including Voyager 1 and 2. The launch of NASA's Voyager 2 on August 21, 1977, marked the beginning of spaceflight operations at the Kennedy Space Center. On September 5th of that same year, the Voyager 1 was sent into space. But how exactly did they switch places as twins after only two weeks? The combined weight of the two probes is 720 kilograms, which is almost the same as a small car. Both of them could travel from one planet to the other by using the slingshot effect caused by the alignment of two faraway planets. However, they were forced to go at varying speeds and follow various routes. Additionally, on December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 was able to outtrace its identical twin. Because of this, it was the very first spaceship to accomplish this, as it has been the most important resource for gaining new knowledge and resolving mysteries about space. It was approximately 265 million kilometers away from Earth when it began its imaging mission of Jupiter in 1978, and it sent back an enormous quantity of photographs at the time. During a spectacular 100-hour achievement that began in January 1979, Voyager 1 was able to record 3,750 photographs of Jupiter's rotation. These photos were then used to construct a time-lapse movie that displayed 10 of the planet's spins. This accomplishment was genuinely astounding. Following that, outstanding discoveries were made. In February of 1979, it had traversed the Jovian moon system. By March, it had located Jupiter's tiny ice rink, Thieves and Mattis. Two new moons were discovered by Voyager 1 and are notable discoveries in their own right. Because of the possibility of colliding with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, the spacecraft would undergo corrective maneuvers to guarantee it is ready for its flyby of Saturn. During its orbit of Saturn, Voyager 1 discovered five more moons named Mimas, El Salutis, Thus, Dione, and Rear. After the Saturn mission was once finished, scientists decided to cancel the rest of the Voyager planetary mission and send Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 hurtling out of the solar system at a rate of 325 million miles per year. 
The new endeavor, dubbed the Voyager Interstellar Mission, began operations in January 1990. On February 14, 1990, at a distance of 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, Voyager 1 captured some of the most iconic photos ever shot of the Sun and most planets. Solar planets are a common name for this group. Even though Mercury and Mars are not visible in the photographs for various reasons, Voyager 1 captured 670 images during its mission. To save resources for the spaceship's interplanetary journey, the cameras were eventually disabled. Next, other interstellar probes. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 aren't the only interstellar probes in NASA's fleet. The agency also controls the Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 spacecraft and the New Horizons mission. The Pioneer 10 was the last star system seen by the Voyager 1 before it left the system on February 17, 1998. The Pioneer 10 spaceship traveled the farthest. No other spacecraft could catch up to Voyager 1 during its final 14 years of travel, which ended on August 25, 2012, when it entered the interstellar environment. However, NASA didn't reveal its success until 2013. Drop us into November 2018, when Voyager 2 passed through the heliopause and into interstellar space. It marked the formal exit of both spacecraft from our solar system. About 155 years have passed since Voyager 1 left Earth, and it is now estimated that it is 14.5 billion miles away. It has consistently delivered crucial data that has been unavailable from any other space probe missions. The spaceship has spent most of its 45-year journey in good health since visiting the unexplored territory beyond our solar system. Recently though, analysts have noticed some peculiar behavior from it. The enigmatic signals Voyager 1 is sending back to Earth right now give the appearance that it doesn't know exactly where it is. More on that, the suspicious data sent. The plot, on the other hand, takes a disturbing turn at the end. Voyager is programmed to enter a safe mode or make an alarm sound whenever it becomes disoriented in space. But it hasn't done either of those things yet. The antenna handles data transmission on its end and appears in good working order. However, it has recently started sending out data that makes one suspicious of its motives. The Interstellar Explorer is carrying out its intended functions, which include collecting and transmitting scientific data and carrying out the directives that were programmed into it before it was even born. According to an official NASA release, the articulation and control system readouts on the probe do not represent any internal processes that are taking place. To be more specific, what exactly is going on aboard? Every interstellar-bound spaceship, including Voyager 1 and 2, is equipped with a gold-plated disc 12 inches in diameter and carries audio and video transmissions in the event that an extraterrestrial race discovers the ship. There are 35 noises from Earth, 115 live photos, 90 minutes of music from the West and greetings from the United States of America. You'll find interviews with several notable figures on the Space DVD including former President Jimmy Carter and former UN Secretary General Kurt Wollum. They are also recorded in 55 languages. Thus, extraterrestrials who have taken control of the world may attempt to decode the signals. The researchers were keen to end the suspicions that extraterrestrials could be in control of the vessel. Finally, the technical team tries to figure out the problem. First and foremost, Voyager's capacity to work hinges on the ACS, Attitude and Articulation Control System, which ensures that Voyager always keeps its intent name to Earth so that scientists can accurately receive data. It also regulates the spaceship's orientation. The situation is much more mysterious given that engineers monitoring it believe the ACS operates normally. Moreover, none of the safeguards installed to protect the spaceship have been engaged. The project manager for Voyagers 1 and 2, Susan Dodd, says that mysteries like this are expected. The age of the two Voyager spacecrafts at 45 years is far greater than that anticipated when the mission was initially conceived. Susan Dodd confirms the engineering crew on Voyager will have formidable challenges in fixing the spacecraft. As a first point, a rescue mission is quite unlikely due to how far away we are from the space probe. It takes nearly 21 hours for a message sent from Earth to reach the spaceship traveling at the speed of light. Thus, it's safe to assume that two-way communication between Earth and the spacecraft takes at least two days. In a separate statement, NASA noted that the team could not estimate how much longer the spaceship would be able to acquire and transmit science data until the root cause of the problem is better understood. 
However, Susan Dot and the rest of the technical team are certain that they will be able to find a solution to the problem. If it's an ACS issue, maybe a solution can be found soon and Voyager can return to being at its best. Whatever the case, we should be grateful that this illustrious spacecraft has accomplished its mission. Well, that marks the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment on the section down below. Thanks for watching.